Today I want to talk about the 2022 IWF World Weightlifting Championships and why so many athletes have been bombing out. This is what I want to discuss today because I feel like it's a very interesting topic and I'm sure there's a lot of you who might be wondering why this is happening at this World Championships. Oh, you make me want to talk back. Hey guys, Mona here. Welcome to my channel where I talk about all things mindset and weightlifting. Now, firstly, one of the thoughts that popped into my mind of like why the athletes could be bombing out, um, like a lot of you are aware, this is also the first qualification event for the 2024 Olympic Games. So athletes want to put up a really big total at this event because obviously this will give them a really good placing going in to the Olympics. What also ended up happening, if you've been following weightlifting for quite some time, you might have seen that the categories for the up and coming Olympics have been cut. So instead of having 10 male and 10 female categories, there's now only five male and five female categories. So there will be about 50% less participation, which means that athletes now have had to have decided if they are either going to move up in weight class or move down in a weight class if they weren't already in that class. Um, and unfortunately, there's a lot of strong athletes out there who were in a class, um, like for example, the 64 women's class that now is no more um, or not anymore at the, at the Olympics. Athletes in the 64 class had to decide if they are going to be moving down to the 59 or the 71. Yes, at this World Championships, there were still athletes competing in the 64 class, but if you want to qualify for the Olympics, you have to choose either the 59 or the 71 um, for the female. There's other categories too, but those are just two specific ones that I thought I will bring up. So for example, a 64 kg athlete that now has to all of a sudden gain weight to be a full 71 kilogram athlete to lift with the strongest 71 females out there. Um, and even obviously athletes from the higher categories that have moved down to the 71, it does, it's a lot of strain for the body. I mean, not just gaining the weight, but now having to also make sure that you've got these huge strength increases as well to make sure that you can compete against the girls in the higher weight class and vice versa. So if you had to drop down, it's not always to say that you're gonna keep your strength. So if you had to drop down from the 64 class and say you were an athlete who would normally weigh in around like 65, 66 as a training weight, now dropping down to the 59s is a huge percentage of body weight that you have to end up dropping. And in order for you to now compete against the strongest 59s that are already in that class, um, like you saw the 59s with the women was probably one of my favorites to watch. Um, it was super competitive. Um, there were two Olympic champions on the podium and the girl ended up winning, wasn't even an Olympic champion, but it was super close, huge fight. I loved watching that event. But again, you also saw a lot of athletes cramping, being dehydrated, the elevation was really high. So there was a lot of factors that played a part. Also why athletes could have maybe not performed as well. So talking about elevation, that could be the second reason. So again, with the first reason being, you know, athletes bombing out because they have to lift a really high weight in a new weight class, either dropping down or gaining. And then the second reason that it could be is due to the high elevation in Colombia. So there's a lot of athletes who are not used to the elevation. Athletes can lift really well in it. But like I said, if you have to either, if you have to lose a lot of weight and because you only, you'll wait in two hours before your competition, you have to make sure that in that two hours that you rehydrate and get your body in top shape, which is not always possible. I mean, two hours is a very short time until you lift to get all your nutrients and hydrate properly before the event. Obviously, you want to do as best as you can. And a lot of these athletes have a lot of experience and work with professionals. But you're cutting weight and then having to compete at elevation is definitely tough. And I saw a lot of athletes cramping. I saw a lot of athletes being injured, a lot of athletes grabbing their quads and their knees because 
that seemed to have been the area where most athletes uh, got injured or just cramped up in general. And obviously when that happens, that affects their performance. Now, the third reason why I think this could possibly be why athletes bombed out and I saw this comment the other day when the Inside the Games released an article. Tom Guggebier, who is an Olympic athlete himself, very impressive lifter. He now has a very impressive athlete. Nina Starks, who's a very, very strong lifter in the 55 kilogram class. He made a good point. He actually mentioned that this is the first time ever where entry totals have been put in on the internet and everyone could see what people were putting in. So people were putting ridiculous entry totals um, to also try and qualify, but not also that, but then to try and get themselves into the A group. So sometimes people put totals which are out of their reach, um, but they do it because they wanna be in that A group and it, it could work for their benefit or it could not work for their benefit. So again, in the past, how it used to be done is you would get a piece of paper, you would write your, your entry total for your athlete down, it could be given, um, they would call out your country, you would give it to them, but it basically stays secret until the entry list gets released. So you put down what you know your athlete can comfortably do. But now for this World Championships, it was obviously not done that way. So that's obviously what I saw that Tom Guggebier put out there and that was super interesting for me and if you've been in the sport of weightlifting you will know that there's a lot of tactics and stuff that goes that goes on in the back room and when it comes to putting entry totals and that kind of thing and also being in like the group A, group B, group C, that kind of thing. So a lot going on there. Um, so that was super interesting and that could again be a reason that maybe entry totals were put way too high and like I said athletes then had to cut weight, couldn't you know, make the entry total. They ended up going out a lot heavier than what they should because the rule is that you have to start within 20 kgs of your entry total. So for example, if your entry total is 200, then you have to make sure that you put down an 80 snatch and a 100 clean and jerk, whatever makes 20 kgs different. So yeah, that could be a reason. I must say I am a little uh, sad that I'm not at this weightlifting world championships competing this year. Um, it looks amazing. It's probably the biggest one that's ever been held. It's exciting. There's a lot of competition that's going on. Last night I watched the 71 kg females lift and again I'm biased because I'm a female but it's really been such an interesting competition. It's been tough. These athletes give their be all and end all onto the platform. You know, a lot of athletes didn't make a total. Um, they still have chances to make totals for the up and coming Olympic, but it's definitely been tough for athletes who have had the Olympics, uh, you know, last year and then Commonwealth Games this year and then jumping straight into the world championships for the Olympic prep. So I'm sure those athletes are gonna come back even stronger. Um, I'm vouching for them. Um, I've got a few of my favorites that I'm really hoping to see again at the Olympics in 2024. Like I said, I might not be there, but I am running for Athletes Commission again um, because I really do wanna help pave the way for the younger athletes. Um, like if you guys watch the 71 kg class, like I saw one of the youngsters, Olivia Reeves lifting and super impressive again, even winning a bronze medal for Team USA in the clean and jerk, which is some, something to me that's like just extraordinary. And I feel like those are the athletes that we as a commission need to protect. We need to pave the way for these athletes. We need to make sure that the sport stays in the Olympics. And if I get um, elected again this year for the Athletes Commission, that will definitely be one of my goals to make sure I fight for these athletes, their, their rights for them to, for the sport to stay in the Olympics and to give the athletes not just the same opportunity that we had, but even better. And also write down in the comments if you have a different take on why do you think the athletes have been bombing out at this year's World Weightlifting Championships.